This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Maryland, America. Joined by Nissa Salon. It's quite nice here, isn't it, Nissa? Yes, yeah, it's great. Apart from the air conditioning, it's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been here before, and it's a, it's a nice little place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's very nice. I was. Uh, I think if you venture about five minutes away, uh, it doesn't get so nice. But it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Of course, it's fight week. You're here for your man, Philip Hergovic. We will come on to that. But first, I just want to reflect last weekend uh, up in Glasgow. What a night it was. We'll start with uh, Inoue, the monster. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, he's definitely, I've said this before, he's a freak of nature. Um, I've never actually seen such a good fighter up close. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> about to choke on an arm in one minute. Um, sorry, you want to start that again or just keep talking? No, you keep going. We'll keep um, going. No, where was I? Yeah, no, he's a freak of nature. Um, you know, I don't think I've ever seen such a good fighter up close. Um, I've you know, obviously been in, in boxing since I was a kid. Watched a lot of fights, watched a lot of fighters. Um, I think that he is something special and he should definitely be mentioned. You know, I think he mentioned number one, two, three, four of the pound for pounds. Obviously, you can never be exact, and you know it's whatever flavour you, you like, you know. But it's uh, for me, he's, he's definitely up in the top three pound for pound fighters at the moment. Um, very exciting. And then of course, we had uh, Josh Taylor, who um, yeah, he, he did very well against a very, very tough, tough opponent. Um, I thought the scorecards were too close. Yeah, it's I had, even wider, that's why yeah, I thought. Yeah, I had Baranchu winning maybe two, three rounds. He was definitely sort of competitive in every single round, but, um, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think 115, 111 twice was a little bit of a joke. Especially with the knockdowns as well. Yeah, with the knockdowns. Well, so if the, my maths was terrible, but if the knockdowns didn't happen, he would have won by a point. Yeah. Something like that, yes. That's not right. In a way, he's obviously heavy favourite in his final. Um, yeah. Dene done very well to get to the final itself because no one actually thought he would he'd do that. You know, you had the likes of Tete, yeah. uh, Rodriguez, and Anua, of course, and Burnett. But he's done really well to get to the final. Yeah, no, he's done, yeah my prediction for the final is that Anua is going to slip on the way to the ring and uh, no, no, uh, Dene <laughs> wins <laughs> via default. Um, no, he's done really well. I mean, um, you know, the Burnett fight. Bit of luck. Bit of luck. I don't know. I mean, you know, he did really well. Um, he was in. He was in the fight. He gave Burnett. You know, he was, he was there. I think Burnett was maybe getting a little bit of the better of him. But then, of course, last minute change against Tete that replaced him, and obviously he did very well. Last minute change of opponent. Last minute change of a stance. And um, I think we're seeing that he's definitely more suited to that weight class uh, than moving up. And you know, which he had done in moving back down proved very successful for him. Um, you know, we always talk about people moving up, moving down, um, and I think Donaire's the proof that, that, that sometimes getting in the right, right weight class can suit your career perfectly, mm. even in the twilight of your career. In terms of Inoue, we've seen someone in like Manny Pacquiao move up several, several weight classes and uh, dominate and win world yeah. titles. How many weight classes do you think he got up to and well, win world titles? Well, it was Pacquiao, did he start, start straw, super straw? I, I think yeah. So so what's that? One below Bantam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I get lost. You know. Um, I mean, it's interesting to say as well. Like if we go back to the 80s, there were eight weight classes. Nowadays, I think there's 17 weight oh, classes. Okay. So 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 you know the margins are smaller and smaller. Um, so I'm not taking you away from Pacquiao being an eight weight or nine weight world champion, but. At the same time, it's, 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 it, 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 there are a lot more weight classes and a lot more small ranges. But I think Inui is, what is it, on the second weight class already? Yeah, second one. Yeah. I mean, you could see him doing what Pacquiao did. He doesn't, I mean, is his frame that much different? It might be a bit shorter. I, I, I don't really know, but he'll, he'll grow. He'll, you know, as I've seen when I'm, I'm hitting 40 next week, it's harder and harder to keep the weight off. You know, you, you just grow, don't you? And you, 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 you get a different frame as you get older. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll be interesting. I think Inui right now will definitely go up to Super Bantam because he'll have knocked out all the Bantams. And I don't think any of the other Bantams that aren't in the tournament will want to face Inui. Josh Taylor reached broke rate, uh, mouth in the final. I think the bookies have actually got pro grade as a slight favourite, but. To be expected, either one really slip and tough between the, yeah. the pair of them. Yeah, I, 
Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's a hard one to call. It's a hard one to call, and that's uh, that's the great thing about the tournament. You know, we we get some credit for for putting the best through the best and you know, having 50, 50 50 fights and that's what it's all about that's what people want to see um, I think if you see the heavyweights at the moment you know the way Wilder Joshua and, and, and Fury aren't fighting each other it's a real shame for boxing mm. fans and I hope as well that that doesn't take away from from, from not, not us you know not not the guys who are going to probably go and watch the, the, the final of the ABAs or what you know the hardcore but the, 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 the masses, you know, where, the, where the, the, the masses who have now suddenly gotten involved in boxing again have, have, have eaten, like, you know, bought into the whole sport. And, um, you know, I just hope that they don't lose interest because, you know, Wilder, Wilder just absolutely smashed Brazil in, you know, what, one, one punch knockout. You know, there's, there's only one fight really there, or well, two fights there for him, Fury or, or Joshua. You know, I think every, I think White has to overcome um, Rivas, the, the Canadian. Yeah, Rivas. It's a tough fight, a tough fight as well. And then um, you know, there's a few. There's definitely a few prospects coming up. One of mine is obviously Philip Pergovic, who's fighting on Saturday night. Uh, who's I think past prospect status now. He's you know he's coming on very nicely. Contender now. Definitely a contender. Um, I told I think Andrew on on Saturday that or was that? I can't remember. I told him Saturday. I just end up speaking a lot to a lot of different people, but um, I, th I think you know I, I did throw his name in the hat to fight Joshua. I, I'm never going to start. I'm not. I'm not that desperate. I'm going to start publishing on social media and begging for a fight. I know that that fight will come at some point if Joshua is still champion. Um, I know that the big fights will come for Philip Bergovich, um, and you know we just wanted to make ourselves available. You know, if they chose to fight Philip, we would have taken the fight, but. You know, there's, there's, there's obviously a few other options out there for Anthony and probably not as hard as uh, Philip Bergovic because I believe he is the toughest fight that any of the top three will have at the moment. Just before we come on to Philip with more depth, you mentioned your, your Wilders, your Joshua's, your Furies. <laughs> How likely is it do you think we'll ever see a World Boxing Super Series at heavyweight? Because, you know, one's on Showtime, one's on DAZN, one's on ESPN, they're all right, they're champions in their own right on their TV network. How much money would it take to get that tournament? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it would, it would take a massive company buying all three of those uh, TV channels and merging them. Um, or, uh, yeah, someone putting up a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, Saudi Arabian Sheikh fancies to have, uh, you know, fancy having a fight there or something like that. I, 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 at the moment, it's going to be tough to see. It's going to be tough, and that, that's a sad thing, you know. And sadly, I, I'm involved in that. You know, I'm involved in boxing promoting, obviously, and, and, and I've experienced these kind of things before. And it's not to say anyone's in the wrong, but someone needs to make that first step and that first serious step and just avoid t talking the press. You know, just say, look, let's make the fight. You know, let's lock ourselves in a room, one representative for each side, and just get the fights done. You know, because you know, if, if Joshua loses or Wilder loses or Fury loses, then you, you've got another chance. It's, 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 no one's going to annihilate the other, you know, unless Wilder, Wilder lands one of those, uh, those wound up shots from the dressing room, uh, or a flush on the chin of anyone. But, but I mean, you saw Fury got up got in up. the 12th round. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I, I just think everyone's, everyone's made enough money. You know, come on, like, you make even more money from this fight. Don't worry about your zero, you know, just, just do it. You know, just just get the fight done. I think that's everyone's sentiment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, if you talk about splits and whatever else, it's like what's five percent, ten percent of a fuckload of money. What is it? No, just get the get your pride together and get the fight done. Those three could have so many rematches and trilogies between yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, money shouldn't be a worry. They can make plenty exactly, of them. Exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it. I, 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 and I think Wilder and 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 and, and Anthony are kind of you know they, they they could do it. They could they. Uh, it would be good if Wilder went up to the, to the fight on Saturday, mm. uh, next Saturday, obviously, and, uh, and, and you know, it was there. Uh, I think that's a, that's a fight everyone wants to see, cool. and obviously Fury in the mix as well. Absolutely. Right, let's talk about your man Philip. Um, yeah. Done a co-promotional deal with Matram and Eddie. Huh? Talk to me about that. Um, yeah, I mean, <coughs> been approached by a lot of you know networks on on Philip in America. Um, 
for us is always pretty clear. You know, we work with Eddie very well. We work with the zone very well. We work with Matchroom very well. Open. <sighs> when was our first fight together? I, 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 I mean, you know, I'm sure Barry and my dad have worked together in the past as well. But you know, when I guess it was uh, Froch Kessler, maybe part two. Okay. I, I, I'm putting it out there. I, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, so we had a long-standing relationship. They gave us a very good offer. We know that they'll push us. We know that there's no ulterior motives, and we know that they've got also got access to, to the top heavyweight boxers, including Anthony Joshua, Dillian White. So that, that's the fights we want. We'd love to fight Chisora. Um, you know, I, I see that as a great fight for, for Philip. Um, and um, yeah, it was a no-brainer, really. Any reason why Chisora? Uh, you no, know, I think it's a, it's a good, it's a good, uh, he's a good uh, gatekeeper for the division. <coughs> I think uh, he's had his best days, but um, it's a good fight for Philip. Big draw as well, obviously, Derek. He's a big draw. It always comes to bring something. I've worked with him in the past, and it will definitely bring something to, to the table. Um, you know, you never know which Derek you'll get. He's going to pick up a table and throw it, or give the guy a hug. Um, I think he's calmed down a little bit. But, um, you know, like I say, it's, it's, it's a good fight for, for Philip, and, and, and to sort of open the gates uh, to the heavyweight division without without taking that much of a risk. In my life. Is this Philip's first fight in the States? So it's his first fight in the States, yes. Alright, okay, so good opportunity for him uh, yeah. to showcase his, his talent live yeah. on his own. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, we, we, we did two fights in Croatia as his as, as sort of homecoming. Mm -hmm. When he watches, when he gets, when he fights in Croatia, 70% of people watch, uh, that are watching TV watch Philip Yeah, yeah. That, That's that's serious. Big numbers. Yeah. That's serious numbers, you know. Well, it's not big numbers because it's not that big. I think it was seven or eight million people, but um, it's still a huge market share. Yeah. Unheard of. Um, so he's a big star there. He's got the looks, he's got the chat, he's got, um, he's got the persona, and he's got the knockout punch to make it in America as well. So uh, that's why we brought him here. We're fighting uh, Gregory, Gregory Corbin. Um, quite a dirty fighter. I've been talking to... Um, Charles Martin's manager, a little bit about him, you know, he'll probably trash talk a little bit and whatever else. And that's something we need to get Philip used to as well. You know, you can't, you can't always have it sort of your own way, but you know, you, you can have people front up to you. And it's, it's all part of the process, it's building a world champ. How important was it for Philip to, to get this co promotional deal, make him into a bigger draw? Because even, even with this deal, it's still going to be hard for him to, to make deals for the big fights because, it, again, He's kind of in that who needs you kind of club. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why would you want to fight for it? No, no, exactly. He's, he's in the uh, he's in the sort of the the, the Richard Comey club, exactly. you know. He's like, and now he's world champ. Uh, okay, world champ. Which, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, he's, he's like no one wanted to fight him when, when, when we were sort of working together. Um, yeah, but look where he's ranked. You know, that's where the where, that's where we come in. Three or four fights, we get him into mandatory. That, that I know, I know. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not naive. I know that we're going to have to get into a mandatory, a mandatory spot to get any of these top heavyweights to fight Philip because they know what he's like. They've heard the stories, they've heard the sparring stories. He's sparred with everyone in, in the in the UK. Uh, he was the reason that David Hay pulled out the Tyson Fury fight because he, he got a cut from a punch in, in sparring. Um, sparred Wilder. Sparred Wilder. Um, I think mean, that was Wilder. Wilder quite novicey back then as well. You know, it's, it's, well, Wilder. Look, it's, I think he started boxing quite late. You know, 26, 27, I think, or something crazy like that. So he's still learning. You know, like like, like AJ says, he's, he's he's still getting better as well. So it's, it's very interesting that the two of them, you know, he's developing the quickest. Um, but listen, we 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 know that people aren't going to want to fight Philip out of choice. That's why I'm saying, that's why I said to you, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sort of chase people on social media and say, we want this fight, Philip didn't do the same, did, you know, we, we, we were in training for pretty much the same date as, as Anthony Joshua, but we knew in the back of our minds, we're like, well, they're not going to take it, you know, we can subtly offer it to them in case they're, at, you know, at, at an end, you know, and, and, and don't have an opponent, but they're not going to do it out of choice, There's no way. So you guys were ready for June 1st, so Obviously, Philip, the whole team, clearly believe you guys are, are ready for a world title shot and a shot at one of the top dogs in Anthony Joshua. 
if they did fight on June first, just hypothetically, do you believe Philip would knock him out? I believe it's. Uh, I believe someone gets knocked out. I believe it's a 50 50 fight, a true 50 50 fight. I'm not, Anthony's a great champion. You know, look, look what he did with Klitschko. Where he got up, it was like a rocky moment. Yeah, it was like you know, I, I was on, I was on my on my sofa just fucking shouting for, for Joshua because I wanted, I knew what would happen once the Klitschko's went. You know, we're totally out of the division. I knew it would open up these great fights, yeah. and um, you know, Fury beating him, I was going wild, and then and then and then Anthony beating him as well. That was that opened up. Look at the heavyweights now. This, this boxing goes where the heavyweights go, right? I mean, this is big money, especially in America. People want to see the big guys uh, knocking lumps out of each other, and that, that's what's happened. You know, that's why. That's why uh, Klitschko's reign being over is the best thing that could ever happen to the heavyweight division, and it's opened everything up. And yeah, I believe that, that, that on his night, Philip will beat Anthony Joshua. All right, listen, we've done 16 minutes. I'll let no you problem. go. We've got to go to the press up. Yeah, um, freezing my arse off. <laughs> we'll go back outside. Um, yeah, thank you yeah. very much for talking to iPhone right. TV. Cool, we'll grab a word after Philip's fight. Cheers, mate. Top man. Oh. So what are you free?